Hello, my name is Liam and I work at Matrix Technologies Solutions and we're the developers of Flowcode software. I wanted to record this video to explain to you more about the licensing of our latest version, Flowcode 9. Here you can see the Flowcode website, okay, which is flowcode.co.uk, which is full of information on the various features of the software, both of the embedded and app developer modes, access to support, education, and much more. You can download the Flowcode software within the download button here, okay? Um, and now seems like a good time to tell you about the various versions of Flowcode that are available. There is a trial version available. So when you download the software, you'll be um, in, you'll be asked whether you want to run the trial version or a purchased version. The trial version has all features of flow code for 30 days. After this, the, the software goes into a free version mode where uh, some of the features are restricted. Two other modes are hobbyist and professional. Okay, and we'll talk a little more about them when we go through the buy process in just a short while. The last um, type of license is an education license. If you're an education or academic user, you need to get in touch with us and we'll deal with that direct. Okay, um, so if you're interested in purchasing Flowcode, let's talk more about the licensing. Um, so if you want to go beyond the 30-day trial or free version, you need to come here to the website. You click on Buy Flowcode, which is here, and then you have to make the decision as to whether you're a new user or you're an upgrading user, an existing user of a previous version. So let's assume that we have a, an existing user. Okay, so you click on Upgrade User button. You then need to enter your username and password. Now, this will be the username and password that you used for previous versions of Flowcode or on the matrix tsl.com website. And the only thing to note is that if you had a username with a space, we have replaced the space with an underscore. So make sure you try that if you're having any issues. Any further issues though, don't hesitate to get in touch or use the password reset button, which you can see on screen here. So I'm going to log in using some details from a previous version of Flowcode that I had. Once we're um, into here, and we've logged into our account, you need to basically make a decision on whether you are a hobbyist or a professional user. And um, Now, the way that we define hobbyist and professional is as follows. A hobbyist user is someone who is not using Flowcode for commercial purposes, as per the end user license agreement. So this could be a maker, someone using Flowcode at home, or just exploring what is possible with the software. If this sounds like you, select hobbyist version. A professional user is defined as someone who is using Flowcode within their commercial business. Therefore, purchasing the pro version gives commercial rights to the user. For version nine, we've also added, if you select on professional, something called pro support. Um, so pro support is offered within our popular Flowcode forum, where our own engineers and community give support to fellow users. Pro support is an area within the forum restricted to posts from pro users only, yet viewable by anyone. Now, it's important at this stage to outline that if you were previously a, a user of um, Flowcode in a hobbyist context, you can change right now to a pro version. If you were previously pro, but you're now no longer using it in a professional environment and you're a hobbyist, you can move back to being a hobbyist um, when you're upgrading to version nine. So you just select the button that is most applicable to you. So as I'm logged in, what I can see here is the features that I had for version eight, and they're indicated with a 50% marker in the top corner. So I can highlight those, okay? And that would give me the same license as I had for version eight of Flowcode. If I had some features on version seven, they will be indicating a 30% marker. That's because you receive a discount when upgrading from the last two versions to version nine. It's also important for me to point out that ESP, um, which is the capability to target ESP32 devices, is a free feature within Flowcode 9. And so that 
uh, button there is always highlighted and selected for users. Okay. So once you have put a license together that you're happy with and you can at this point select maybe some other features and other chip packs, you're happy with the price, the user can then go on, add this to their basket using the add to basket button here and go through the checkout process on matrixtsl.com's website. Okay. So let's just have a look at the process for a new user. So I'm going to log out. Um, and I'm going back to buy flow code and I'm going to click on being a new user. So this is now how this would work for someone who has not previously had a version of flow code before. So the first thing here is again to select the user type and then again select the chip packs and the feature packs that I want. Um, you can actually select all of these just by clicking on the large uh, ticking icon there next to the, the words chip packs and feature packs. This will highlight everything for you, okay? And then you can construct the license in a way that's suitable for you. Users often want to know what's uh, what, what they receive within the individual chip packs. And um, so when if you want to know what you receive within the chip packs, on the home page of Flow Code, you will find a, a table embedded which um, explains all of the target devices supported by Flow Code 9. This information can also be retrieved from within the software itself. If you download it um, prior to purchasing, you can find all of the target devices listed. There are over 1,500 within the latest version. For information on uh, what's included within the individual feature packs, uh, if you click on the small I icon here, you will find a short list to the right side here of the icons, components, sorry, included within each individual feature pack. Or for a more um, in-depth look, if you click on the um, button here, which says click here for component details, this will take you to another screen, which just outlines all of the individual features within each component pack or feature pack available, okay? Okay, if you have any further questions about licensing, um, you can of course get in touch with us. There is a contact us button at the bottom of the website. There is also the popular forum where you can ask any licensing questions um, that you may have. Um, so yeah, don't, don't hesitate to get in touch with us if uh, this doesn't answer all of your questions. Thanks very much for listening, goodbye. <laughs>